Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Don't get hang angry um, with officials. Um, there's several reasons for doing this. Now, in the Philippines, it wouldn't be the first time someone has been deported for saying the wrong thing to a immigration official. Um, but the other side of this being is people forget a lot of these processes are far worse than the countries we're coming from. Um, but also the person in front of you is not responsible for that process. A whole legal system is being put together to create these processes in the first place. That person that stood in front of you saying no or asking for more paperwork has no authority on this. And I know with um, Spain, for example, there is people that are saying, oh, they asked for this document, but they should have asked it first time round and all this. Look, the fact is, you do what you need to do. Now, if they didn't ask for it first time round, and the Philippines is probably very similar, you could question the fact that it was never required initially, so as such, you shouldn't have to provide it. Um, but at the same time, if you've got it ha at handy and it's not a big issue, just provide it. It's not worth the aggravation. Um, but one of the things that does it does seem to go wrong for a lot of expats is when they argue with uh, immigration, local mayors, um, police, etc., etc. If somebody is confronting you from a Filipino side, you have to be aware that most Filipinos aren't confrontational. Um, if you square up to an immigration official, you're putting them at uh, risk of doing something they may not normally do if they panic, um, which could actually shoot you, uh, same as some of the, the police. But also if the police confront you over something, just be a bit more laid back about it. A lot of the time, Philippine police will just take a few pesos to go away. Um, I know somebody had their scooter impounded. I think it cost 1,500 pesos, plus they had to get a new license sorted out and other bits and pieces. Um, could they have bought their way out of it from day one? Yes, they could have done. Well, I can pretty much guarantee you could, um, with the right Filipino person talking to the police. As a foreigner, it's a bit more difficult. Um, if it's a police officer that you're annoyed because you assume they'll take a bribe, you can guarantee they're not going to take it, but they may actually create a problem for you. So a lot of the time it's not worth it. I'll be honest with you, if an official wants a bribe, they will make it very obvious very quick. Um, you know, you'll have somebody say, oh, you know, speeding is a 1500 peso fine but i haven't had breakfast yet it'd be nice if i had like 300 pesos for breakfast they've already laid it down couldn't get any clearer than that but main thing is not getting angry with people the corruption is built into the system um whether we like it or not it's irrelevant um would you rather pay the 1500 or 300 it's up to you I'm just saying that be aware of the risks if you get into an argument or try and force somebody to take a bribe when they're not actually requesting one. Um, but I will say, always treat people with respect. Um, it's just good manners, but also it keeps you out of trouble. If you squared up to a mayor, it can have some very uh, bad circumstances that come from it. Um, it wouldn't be the first time somebody's been killed. Won't be the first time somebody's thrown in jail. Uh, won't be the first time somebody was beaten up outside a restaurant. Um, I know an expat that had that happen a while back where he believed he'd paid the bill or did pay it, whatever happened, but there was some argument between the restaurant owner and the who was related to the mayor. I can't remember if it was the mayor's son or the mayor. Um, but then when five people beat him up, the police turned up and basically the police did nothing because all the police cars, etc., are owned and controlled by the mayor. This is how the Philippines works. Now, it doesn't matter if you like it or dislike it, it ain't going to change. And this is what I'm saying. Don't get angry at people. Just treat people with respect. If, if they're arguing over a bill, okay, if you paid it, um, 
way up the area. You know, it's a bit like being robbed. Um, we don't like being robbed, but if there's a good chance of being shot, was it worth arguing over for, for a small amount of money? The answer is no. Um, and <laughs> it just reminded me of somebody that ended up fighting with three people with their, their, well, they had knives. Um, he did actually win the, the fight and wasn't actually stabbed, but at the same time um, needed a few days rest for medical recovery. Was it worth the hassle? I don't know. I don't think the I don't think the people who tried to rob him would be any better off. But if he had actually been stabbed, the medical bills would have cost more than the um, assault. Um, but I do know in Banilad, for example, there's been people shot for mobile phones, literally standing waiting for a taxi. Motorbike pulls up, shoot you, take your phone. Life is very, very cheap in the Philippines. It doesn't matter how you paint it, life is cheap. Um, so as such, be very cautious on what you're doing. Just treat people with respect. It doesn't matter who they are, because um, generally people aren't a problem. As long as you treat people with the same respect you would want yourself, you generally don't have a problem. People that normally have a problem are normally aggressive. They're normally uh, quite pushy, doing stuff they shouldn't do and eventually catches up with them in some form or another. Um, it's just not that sort of, I mean, we don't go to the Philippines to be that sort of person. So well, I don't know. Unfortunately, there's a lot of expats like it, but I have no sympathy when something goes wrong for them um, because they bring it on themselves. All right, thanks for watching.